shot, Phoenix One. Save some for the rest of us. Audiences will love in season two the way that we've just expanded the whole universe. Woo! Kind of nice having Phoenix Squadron watching our backs. It feels like the first season was setting up the spark of rebellion, and this season is like the flames really get going. What's new is the size of the group. Joining forces with Fulcrum, we now have a much larger crew. You have proven invaluable to our fleet, Captain Sindula. Getting to finally learn that, yes, we are part of a bigger rebellion was really gratifying. We are fighting a bigger fight, but it's still the right fight. They've grown comfortable together, so they're very efficient on their own. Got you covered, Phoenix One. But as far as being the most effective group of rebellions, I think they, you need more people. We have to do this. All right, if I tag along? The more the merrier. One of the main challenges for them now, as a team, as a family, is facing the potential for darkness. Lord Vega. Yes, master. Just the sound of everything, the music, it really brings you back to watching the original movies. Surprise. Rebels. I think if the first season was New Hope in tone, the second season is more of Empire Strikes Back. The powerful thing about Star Wars now is that the characters just appeal to people. They appeal to people all around the globe. It's something that parents seem to pass on to their kids. Your master has deceived you into believing you can become a Jedi. The audience is going to take a step into a much larger world here in season two. It is an even wilder ride than season one. So buckle up, get ready.